So let's ignore the fact that I haven't posted in like six months. In my personal defense, I was finally allowed to go back to work after my injury around the time that I stopped posting. So it's been a, a very, very, very busy time for me lately. Also, let's ignore the fact that I'm hiding as if it's a Joseph. Don't ask me why I thought it was a Joseph. I, for some reason, thought it was a Joseph. Anyways, hi, I am back again. Hopefully this time I'll actually like keep up with posting. I know I keep saying that, but I feel fairly confident. I also fell out of playing IDV for like a good month or two, like three, four months ago. So this is, I've been, I, I've, 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 been, I've been working really hard trying to get content, I swear. I would also like to preface this whole video by saying the majority of the rank of the hunters that I go against is either Saber, Manticore, or Cyclops. There are a few Cyclops in here. I myself am currently Mammoth because, again, I fell out of playing IDV for like a good month or two, but recently I have been ranking again and I am once again in Mammoth. I am ex Alicorn. However, I tend to get matched with Griffins and I tend to get matched with Manticores and Cyclopses and badged hunters. It is kind of scary considering the fact that I am low mammoth right now and my partner is in the same tier as me low mammoth as well so there's no way that it's because we're teamed together all the time Myself. It's not programmed to actually, I just manually edit it, but I'm very happy about it. <laughs> One thing I don't see a lot of gardeners do is knowing when to stop chair harassing. Like, there, there's, there's a time and a place. If you don't think you can make it, do not do it. Please, for the love of God, don't do it. Get away from that damn chair. It'll happen. You'll get hit doing it. You'll get terror shock doing it. You'll die doing it happens but please for the love of god know when not to do it fault 100%.
again she hit this bubble so last second like within again my last millisecond and it was my leech nonetheless which was a lifesaver in all honesty and she hit like very literally a moment later i would have been dead for sure You know, I've been thinking I kind of want to try doing more live recordings with my voice so you guys can like hear my genuine reactions to things. The only problem is that I kind of cuss like a sailor. Like I, I cuss a lot. You would think with my job I'm very good at regulating when I swear. And I probably will when it comes down to it, but I'm just worried I'm gonna like cuss myself out. <laughs> I also have a tick disorder, so I tend to like, yeah, I, ooh, I don't know how to feel about it. The only other concern is that I usually play with my partner and we're usually on a call together when we play, so it makes it quite difficult since you won't hear what they're saying. And I know there's like a whole bot that I can put like in the voice chat, however, I don't know. I really do not know. I. There's so much. There's so many things that I think about when I think about trying that. I also, I also scream. I scream. I will literally scream. That. That's all. That's all. That's all. I hope you're enjoying my lovely partner kiting right now because I don't know what I was doing in this match at this point. I kind of got a little lost while rambling and I wasn't really paying attention to what I was voicing over, to be completely honest with you all. But hey, the safer pop, so there's that. <laughs> hey, here I am. I think I'm going for the gate. Probably, most likely. No. What am I, what am I, what am I doing? Question mark. I, okay. Where am I going? Where am I going? Oh, I think my partner died over here. I think that's what happened. Yeah, that's what happened. <laughs> Don't try this at home, by the way. This is literally a Wu Chang. I'm healing somebody in a spot where the Wu Chang knows they are. And it's a Wu Chang. Again.
Now listen up, everybody. We do not bleed out the last person. We don't do it. And this is why. This is me begging for the dungeon that I know is right there, thinking he's going to give it to me. The answer is no. No, he is not. He also still hasn't fixed that chair, so he can't chair me there. Not yet, anyways. Or, well, he won't. I have determination. I do not surrender. If I am in a determined mood, I am not surrendering. For some odd reason, I also decided to take the long way around because I knew this pallet over here was still up and that if I crawl towards it and he tries to pick me up and I struggle, I have a free pallet and he can't bell me through it and he doesn't have blink. Well, he can bell me through it, but it won't work because I'll, you know, be on like the other side of said pallet. I still have no idea to this day if he was like giving me the dungeon and making me work for it or if he was genuinely just bleeding me out to see how long it would take for me to surrender or bleed out. And bam! It's my time. We run. We go. I'm out of here. Throw the pallet down. He can't bell through it. He can try. He did. And now I just run. Now I just run. And I book it. And I get it. And that is why we don't do that. Or he just made me work for it really hard. I I still don't know. Now, here's another vital lesson I am teaching you all. We do not bring Rose Cane Carry against Gardener. We don't do it. Please don't do it. It is asking for your own execution. It is, it is your own personal hell. Don't do it. I have actually seen some rippers who bring the rose cane accessory, but make it so it doesn't have the effects of the rose cane accessory, meaning you can carry somebody and not have the rose cane carry effect, and you can hit people. And it is so, so smart, especially if it's like the first pickup of the game and you don't know. Oh, it is so diabolical, I swear to god. <laughs> I hope, once again, you are all enjoying my lovely partner, Kaini. <laughs> Especially as mech, Kaini's really hard to kite as. I, I salute those who kite as mech for long periods of time. I really do. broken a lot of chairs in this area already considering the fact that I was decoding over here earlier. 
Now, I'm not going for the rescue because Mark is rescuing, obviously. I just wanted to kind of take his attention away since, you know, rescuing against a ripper can be fairly difficult, even for a Merc. Now, I stopped breaking this chair because I noticed he's going to another one and I don't want to have the long cooldown in case I get there just in time. He did have to fix it since I have broken it once already, which gave my partner time to crawl to a corner. And because he's stopping, obviously, to fix it again, and then he does chase me for a little bit, it gives my partner even more time to crawl away, which makes it so that they'll be able to struggle out much quicker. I think he kind of just gave up here just a little bit. takes them to another chair and it's a little risky to for me to save here with my bubble but I try it for it anyways just considering the fact that the cypher is primed so I at least won't get singular downed to a foggy and then hit with his basic if it were to but he didn't even hit the bubble so I'm free This is one of those things you shouldn't try at home. Stop chair harassing near a hunter with detention. Just don't do it. Don't ask why I'm doing it, just don't do it. <laughs> For some reason, I felt like rescuing this one. I knew I wasn't gonna do it before half because, well, it was a Terra Shock at five. But I did it. For some reason. <laughs> Not saying you shouldn't rescue people when that happens, but personally, if I'm that far away, I most likely won't. I don't know, I was just feeling a little adventurous that day. Another moment and another very good representation of don't touch the damn chair if you can't get the chair harassed. Now I know I kind of threw these pallets down like a little early but 
I panicked a little bit. Please don't blame me. <laughs> Now here's something I'm a little pissed about. My partner had dungeon. This was a rank match. And the puppeteer refused to leave the gate despite the constant pings that the dungeon was there. Like, why? Just, just why? I'm hugging a lot of walls and objects to hopefully block a bane hook if it comes towards me, which is why you see me moving in a way that gets very tight against things. And as you can see, 
it works very well. It will work every time, and obviously I'm gonna get hooked at some point, but it helps. Why am I walking? It helps a lot. safety from my own stupidity of running out in the open without looking behind me. Also please, when you are going against a bane, please pay attention to where they are putting their traps so you don't run into them. My partner does end up getting the dungeon. Unfortunately, every play doesn't show it, but here I can show the, uh, the screen cap of where it says we all escaped. Like he might blink so I kind of double back a little bit to avoid it hopefully and it works
So when I first started screen recording this one, I got a little confused at one point because I was like, oh, my connection is being really weird. I'm going to restart this. And then I realized and remembered that this is the rank match that I reconnected for like a solid 15 seconds and somehow still survived and lived to tell the tale. Like, I cannot just, just watch and you'll see what I mean. about this. them so bad. <laughs> Nothing on the axe boy, obviously. He switched targets just a little too often that made it easier for us to get a win. But considering how long it took to get me in the first place anyways, we most likely would have made it until the cypher was primed anyways. Which is it's sad because he had some really good flame snipes when he used them. Um, they were really good. He just switch targets a little too much. Yeah. <sighs> 
Now I hope you all enjoy the singular crumb of Joseph gameplay that I have, that I actually screen recorded as I was playing it, which I do not do very often. And I want to preface this by saying I am not a high tier hunter. I am literally a cobra and the highest I have ever been is croc. I'm pretty sure the people in this match were high elk, low mammoth. If I remember correctly, I don't know, this one was actually from a little bit ago, I'm not even gonna lie. The highest I have ever played is Cyclops on somebody else's account, and I only got draws, but that was a very, very long time ago as well. But regardless, moving on, <laughs> I am not a great hunter, and I don't play very often, so my skills are usually very rusty. Fly high to all of those missed hits. I also keep getting very, very distracted because my snake is currently curled up in her water dish and has been for like a good hour or so now, and she's just straight up chilling in there. <laughs> Here, I'm just looking at the ciphers to see which ones are shaking and who's doing what, where. I'm also checking to see what ciphers aren't being done, which, as you can see, they're healing. I don't know why they heal cheerleader. Hopefully, they'll heal her marriage. Move me. What are the words? What the? Heal her mirror image. Oh my god, I hate words. This cipher is literally basically primed, like, holy hell. Notice that it had been popped while I was in the camera world, so the only person who could have been close enough was Professor, so there, he had to be close by. And that's a good thing for me considering the fact that I just chaired his mirror image. I am really not good at baiting out his skills. I am not. <laughs> I also brought warp and haven't even used it at all. 
I wanted to try it out. This is gen this is like my first time trying out warp, so I was very confused and not sure how to properly use it. ciphers again and taking a look at which ones are being decoded and whatnot once again to try to get a guess of where they are I didn't get that hit is a shocker to me. <laughs> That's GG's. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. I know it's been a while, but I'm happy to be back. <laughs> Hopefully for good this time. Hopefully for good. <laughs>